Hi boys and girls, it's me, Ms. Hodges. Today I'm going to show you how to use EasyBib to make your bibliography. It's really simple. You go to www.easybib.com. I'll put that link on Edmodo for you. And you go ahead and get started. Look, you have a search box on the website. You have different tabs, website, book, newspaper, journal, database. There's actually 59 other options. Most of us just used a website and a book, so I'm going to show you how to do both of those. So let's start with our website. The quickest, easiest way to put a website into the search engine is to go back to your website on the iPad or the laptop that you're using. You can type it in, but with some of those websites, if you get one little thing wrong, it may not work for you. So I went ahead and went to one of the websites we used for Steve Jobs, EncyclopediaBritannica.com. I'm going to click in the web address bar and I'm going to highlight the entire website and I'm going to copy it. A shortcut is control C to copy or you can right click and select copy. Now I go back to the EasyBib tab that I have open. I'm going to click down there in that little search box and I'm going to paste it in. You can do control V or you can right click and hit paste. Now I'm going to click cite it. Now what the computer is doing is it is searching for my source to find all of the information to go along with it. Um, the title of the web page, the author's name, publication information. Notice it says we're gathering your information now. As soon as it pops up, it's going to ask us if we want to go to another page to edit. And um, we want to do that for our website because remember it's important that we put in the date that we searched. So let's see what it gave us. Encyclopedia Britannica Online, Steve Jobs, this is correct. It says date accessed April 22nd, 2015. That's today's date, so we do need to change that part. So I'm going to click continue and it will give me an option to edit. So I want to go back to the date that we searched for this article and that was back at the beginning of April, April 6th. So there's nothing else that I need to change. You'll notice there's some things. I don't know the author's name, so I'm going to scroll down. Okay, let's see. Date accessed. That's where I need to change the date. So it was April 6th. So I'm just going to change 22 to 6. And I'm going to click Create Citation. So now what EasyBib is doing, everything in the correct order with the correct punctuation. So I don't have to look at my foldable or look at my chart and look back at what I'm doing and try to make sure that it's all correct. So it says, hooray, here's your new citation. Remember, we have one more source that we need to add to our bibliography, though. So we need to go back and put in the information for our book source. Remember, the book that we read um, was called Steve Jobs, Apple Icon. So I'm going to click on the book tab. And I'm going to start typing in the title of my book, Steve Jobs, Apple Icon. And again, I'm going to click cite it. So EasyBib is going to search for all the information for my book. It's going to look for the author, publication company. It's going to look for the date it was published. So it's gathering information now. Like my computer is very slow tonight. And there it is. Okay, so Steve Jobs, Apple Icon. I'm double checking the author and publication company are correct. The copyright date is correct. So again, I'm going to click Cite This. It says it's citing. So what EasyBib is going to do is it's going to put my sources together. And our sources should go in ABC order, so that's one thing that EasyBib is going to do for me. It gives me, again, this place where I can edit. Do we need to edit anything? No, there's not. A, we don't have to put the date that we accessed. So we're just going to scroll down. Everything here is correct. I'm going to, again, click Create Citation. And hooray, here's your new citation. So let's look and see what we have.
Okay. So now I have two citations. And look, what EasyBib did is it gave me all of the information I need for my book, all of the information that I need for my website. The author's name of my book begins with a G, so that's the one I would list first in my bibliography. And then the website begins with the title of the article, Steve Jobs, so that one is going to go second. Each source in your bibliography goes in ABC order. Boys and girls, all you have to do now is copy this down correctly on a sheet of notebook paper, write bibliography at the top, and you're done. What a quick, easy way to make your bibliography. Have fun reading. Bye.